name is Amal Starling and I'm an assistant professor of neurology at Mayo Clinic in Scottsdale, Arizona. I'm the author of the Mayo Clinic Proceedings Review article titled Diagnosis and Management of Headache in Older Adults. This narrative review article is focused on the management of headache in older adults from diagnosis to treatment. Headache is a common disabling neurologic problem in all age groups. The first responsibility in every headache evaluation is ruling out a secondary headache disorder, or a headache that is a symptom of another underlying disease. In other words, differentiating a secondary from a primary headache disorder is the first essential step in all patients, including the older adult. Simply due to the prevalence of primary headache disorders, such as tension-type headache and migraine, headache in the older adult is more than likely a primary headache. However, there is a higher risk of secondary causes in the older adult compared to younger adults. In addition, treatment options, regardless of primary or secondary headache, need to be tailored to the older adult due to altered pharmacokinetics, risks of polypharmacy, and the presence of comorbid medical conditions. As discussed in the narrative review, it is important to look for headache red flags during the history and the exam. One headache red flag is the new onset headache in the older adult defined as greater than 50 years old. Other red flags include systemic symptoms, focal neurologic symptoms, thunderclap onset headache attack, which is where headache reaches peak intensity in less than 60 seconds, papilledema on examination, a positional component to headache, headache precipitated by Valsalva or exertion, or a progressively worsening headache. Some more common secondary headache disorders in the older adult are cerebrovascular ischemic or hemorrhagic events, intracranial neoplasms, post-traumatic headache, giant cell arteritis, cervicogenic headache, or headache attributed to medications, sleep apnea, glaucoma, or even cardiac cephalalgia, which is a headache that is precipitated by exertion as a manifestation of cardiac ischemia. Now, once a secondary headache disorder has been ruled out with appropriate diagnostic testing, a primary headache disorder must be accurately diagnosed. Migraine, even in the older adult, is common and disabling. However, it is important to note that migraine characteristics can change with age. Sensory sensitivities such as photophobia and phonophobia decrease, as do nausea and vomiting. Neck pain can also become more prominent in migraine in the older adult. Now, migraine aura without headache is more common in the older adult and can be confused with a transient ischemic attack, or a TIA. This can be very challenging and requires a thorough stroke, stroke workup at onset. However, symptoms with a sequential or marching pattern that increases over minutes are more consistent with migraine aura, whereas focal neurologic symptoms that occur suddenly are more consistent with a TIA. That being said, new onset focal neurologic symptoms should undergo a stroke workup due to the similarity in presentation. In addition to ruling out a secondary cause, the treatment of primary headache disorders must be tailored to the older adult due to the higher risk of medical comorbidities, including cardiovascular and gastrointestinal disease, or even both, altered pharmacokinetics and risks of polypharmacy as well. For these reasons, non-pharmacologic treatment options, including evidence-based biobehavioral interventions, such as biofeedback and cognitive behavioral therapy, should be optimized as much as possible. However, acute and preventive options are available for older adults as long as they are used with consideration to the pre-existing medical comorbidities. Some primary headache disorders are more common in the older adult, such as hypnic headache, which is nicknamed an alarm clock headache because it is a headache that occurs only during sleep, usually around the same time in the middle of the night, and it does awaken the patient like an alarm clock. Onset of this type of headache is typically after the age of 50. Interestingly, one of the effective treatment options is caffeine prior to bedtime, which surprisingly doesn't cause insomnia, and other treatment options include melatonin as well as lithium. Overall, headache is common in the older adult. 
it is key to rule out a secondary cause, especially because older adults are at a higher risk of secondary causes. However, primary headache disorders such as migraine do occur in older adults, and regardless of the diagnosis, treatment options need to be tailored to the older adult in light of comorbidities and risks associated with polypharmacy. Further research on evidence-based biobehavioral interventions and safer pharmacologic treatments of headache disorders will allow for improved management of headache in the older adult. Thank you so much for your interest in this topic and also thank you for reading the narrative review. I hope you find it helpful for your practice. We hope you found this presentation from the content of Mayo Clinic Proceedings valuable. Our journal's mission is to promote the best interests of patients by advancing the knowledge and professionalism of the physician community. If you are interested in more information about us, our homepage is www.mayoclinicproceedings.org. There you will find access information for our social media content, such as additional videos on our YouTube channel or journal updates on Facebook. You can also follow us on Twitter. More information about healthcare at Mayo Clinic is available at www.mayoclinic.org. This video content is copyrighted by Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research.